Hey guys, welcome back to the layout. I know it has literally been forever since I've done a layout update, but I wanted to post something out there so you guys see I'm still alive. Um, had a lot of big changes happen over the past year. So I just wanted to let you guys know I'm still alive. Uh, I still operating the layout, layout is still here. Still modeling the same type of stuff. Uh, so we're modeling, for those of you guys that don't know, I model three different railroads. The Central, oh, Central Vermont, uh, the Canadian Pacific, Boston and Maine, and the Lomoyle Valley Railway. Uh, all based in Vermont. So this layout uh, focuses and operates between Newport, Vermont, St. Johnsbury, and St. Johnsbury to Marshall, Vermont. Um, so Marshall, Vermont to St. Johnsbury is the Lomoyle Valley. St. Johnsbury to Newport is Canadian Pacific and the Boston and Maine. So uh, CP and Boston and Maine ran full power with each other at the time period in model, which is about 1981 to 1983. So in this transition time, Boston and Maine is starting to get pool power more with uh, other railroads that became Guilford. So Delaware and Hudson and Maine Central. At the same point, some lines are starting to shut down, traffic starting to dwindle. So for me, selectively compressing 90 miles of trackage or so, as well as an extra 50 for the other railroad, um, it kind of just made sense to selectively compress and, and decrease traffic. I couldn't model what was fully in like the late 70s, early 80s. So I decided to do this. Um, so for those of you guys that haven't seen my layout, I can kind of show you guys as we're going around, but I just want to let you guys know what's going on. So I moved out of my parents' house. Um, I was here for a long time. But uh, it just you, you, everything going on between COVID and everything else, trying to get out uh, was kind of crazy. At the same point, before I was trying to move out before that, and I just couldn't end up figuring it, figuring that stuff out between work and everything else. So I ended up staying here for a long time. So obviously, so building this layout was something that I, I took as a great hobby and a great joy to do. Uh, I don't have it anymore for the last year, or so I've been out on my own uh, with with my girlfriend and stuff. Um, and we've just been having a blast, but it's just one of those things where uh, I haven't had time to come down here and do stuff. So since probably last, I wanna say March, early April, I have just not been focusing on the trains. So uh, hobbies kind of dwindled, but I enjoy the hell out of it. So uh, so I'm trying to think of something to do for my apartment right now. I got probably another two years left or so until my parents retire at that point. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up buying this house from them. So I'll have the layout, but I think that this layout's kind of reached its peak for me. And I've done a lot of stakes and stuff. Uh, I mean, I feel great with the scenery and everything, but a lot of track work and stuff is not great. So I really want to kind of take it down and start fresh. Uh, I'm really thinking about modeling the Central Vermont Brattleboro uh, town, like the town that uh, Central Vermont ran through, oh, Brattleboro. I should rephrase that. Um, I've been up since 4.30 this morning with work, so it got me a little slack. Uh, but anyway, so I'm really thinking of modeling a township of Brattleboro in its entirety. So I'd have the whole town that has a rail yard in it, uh, Amtrak station, a couple industries, nothing crazy though. But saw about 12, 12-ish 12 trains a day. I wanna say at the high end 12, maybe low end like 10. So something like that is easier to model but I can still have a little bit of freedom with it. So I think I think it's the, the cool next step to do. Uh, I know some other people have modeled a prototype of just a town, which is awesome. So I really really think that'd be the way for me to, to go about this. And I'm just gonna show you guys, kind of I'm gonna bring you up here and we're gonna show you guys the layout a little bit. So I'm gonna take you up and then I'm just gonna tilt this forward a little bit just so you guys can look down and see the layout so the layout sits probably about 30 something inches off the floor uh, it's a six by eight which is the original section and then I have another shelf section it's probably about let's well, say 18 or so feet and then on top of that is another section that's about 10 which is this yard by four ish maybe a little shorter uh, so this is Newport Yard as you guys can see the engine facility and then Newport Center so we go over in this nice truss bridge that I custom built uh, and that's just the lake underneath there very freelance nothing 
too prototypical. It, the yard is selectively compressed, but it looks gets gets you the feel of Newport Yard. So we have uh, we have the engine facility here, three tracks, a turntable. Uh, does not function, but gets the point across. Uh, as well as I don't have the modeled engine facility, but this would be the roundhouse. In the back there, we have six tracks and a holding siding track for passing sidings. So the idea eventually was to have a staged train out here that would come onto the layout and I could have a passing or whatever, but it just didn't really work out that way. So for right now, I'm just leaving it as it is. Uh, you guys can see the rest here. So we kind of flip around. This is all Newport. Flip around to the overpass scene, a little swamp. This is Poland Green, based in Newport, Vermont. So it is in Newport, uh, just did not get the car loads you guys are seeing. So these guys do about four car loads a day. So I have a model on a little crazier level of car loads. But for right now, uh, it is what it is. Uh, and then as well as Ethan Allen, so Poland on the left here, Ethan Allen on the right, they get uh, cars in and out. We have another passing siding. Now, you guys, I can't show you its entirety, the layout, but the as far as like the whole thing on the video, but just so you guys understand that this was a section I added to the layout for the six by eight. So if you can see here, uh, you can see that joint right there. That's where the old section extension stopped. And then this is the other layout. So I just added a circle coming around and that was it really it and then i added this whole extra section over here so this was another addition i put on years ago it stopped right about there i just left it here for right now and then i just added this new section right here which and butts up to each other and that that's the the addition of the yard so um we come over here we're gonna come down here this is uh marsville slash like lindenville somewhere so uh, the inside track is Lamoille Valley over here on this loop. This is the engine shops for Lamoille Valley. They come out onto the CPVM, go inside, get their cars. They come out and they go to St. Johnsbury. I'll show you that in a second. Um, but the Lamoille Valley is a very small short line. They have two, they have, well, they have three shot nose RS3s, a fourth was a high nose. They had five altogether. One was uh, severely damaged in a uh, accident with a gravel hopper so uh, I model just two right now I have all of them but I just put two on the layout right now for the time being and then we keep moving here you guys can see we got some farm scenery some like rural-esque scenery uh, this is St. Johnsbury so I have a nice bridge under construction scene in the yard which was really was going on in 1980 but I bumped up the timeline to 83-ish. So it's right around the time Guilford would come around uh, and the powers are mixing. So we have Main Central switching the yard. Uh, so I model CP's extra 52, which would come down and meet the Main Central. So that's why Main Central can switch. I also have CP power switch St. Johnsbury. So sometimes there is no Main Central power, which is a connection point, but obviously we're railroaders. We take our little, uh, our little leaps and bounds with stuff at certain points. So. I want some main central power, so I would put some main central power up. So that's just kind of the thing we do. Um, and you know, that's really the layout in, in its entirety. Uh, I have a couple other industries. We have a lumber company for Lamoille Valley. I just want to create some traffic for Lamoille Valley for an op session. So I really do this for model operations. Nothing too, too crazy. Uh, a standard op session here modeling all three railroads will take you. I want to say it's about three and a half hours. So I have upwards of a hundred something cars in this layout, um, a fleet of, I can't tell you how many local locomotives, uh, modeling just CPBM, probably like 20. Uh, and that's not including Lamoille Valley, New England Central, all the other stuff. Um, so just so you guys have an understanding of the layout, uh, I model everything in car car way bills. They're pretty good. I do I do a general system, nothing crazy, nothing like, you know, you have the consignee, uh, which is gonna come from your origin to destination, uh, a person who buys the car, load or whatever it may be, uh, that goes to you, stuff like that. Uh, I, I generally just wanna have fun. 
Uh, I enjoy the scenery, I enjoy the weathering, I enjoy all of it really. Except electrical, I hate electrical. So I just like to, I look at the hobby for fun, nothing more than that really. And it definitely is a good stress reliever. But anyway, I just wanna let you guys know that I am still alive. I plan on maybe posting some more videos, maybe doing some other stuff, but I just want to let you guys know that I am here and uh, and maybe to expect some more. Uh, I would like to do some more videos, kind of showing the layout its entirety and stuff and running and all that awesome stuff. So anyway, guys, just checking in. It's a Memorial Day 2024 and have a great day.